The Microtrace PDV is a portable analytical instrument capable of detecting and analyzing over two dozen metals down to low parts per billion or sub parts per billion levels. The Microtrace PDV provides excellent on-site characterization of pollution hotspots and contamination sources. The Microtrace PDV is also fully portable, enabling its use as a standard laboratory instrument, a field screening device, or a combination of the two. The Microtrace PDV provides rapid results and detects trace metals down to 0.5 micrograms per liter, allowing for the immediate identification and resolution of on-site problems. The Microtrace PDV can be used with a tablet for on-site analysis or can be used with a desktop computer for laboratory analysis. To begin using the Microtrace PDV with the tablet software, turn on the PDV handset by pressing the on button. Connect the cables for analysis cell, USB cable to tablet, and power supply if required. Check that the stirrer is working by pressing the reset button for a few seconds. It should be clearly audible as a light buzzing sound. If the PDV has not been used recently, the stirrer may be stiff and initially require a spin. If operating on battery power, check that the display brightness remains constant. If the display dims, this could be an indication that the batteries require replacement. Take out all three electrodes from the container and remove the plastic caps. Lay the three electrodes out on a clean surface. Note that they are color-coded, red, blue, and white. The red counter electrode requires no preparation. To open the reference electrode, gently twist and pull apart the two sections. The casing should be clean and empty with a white frit at one end. The central electrode should be an even dark brown to black color. Hold these two parts in one hand between your fingers. Do not touch the brown part of the electrode at any time. Hold it at the top. Fill the reference electrode sleeve with reference electrolyte part number 8100060 to approximately three quarters full or the level where the electrode casing sleeve widens. Do not completely fill the electrode sleeve, otherwise the frit may be pushed out due to the hydraulic pressure produced. During the filling process, it is easy to introduce a bubble into the electrode sleeve. This must be removed, otherwise the working electrode may be damaged during operation. The bubbles can be removed by simply flicking the electrode with your finger or, if the bubbles are large, partly introducing the reference electrode rod into the solution can also assist with their removal. Keeping both parts upright, insert the electrode into the electrode sleeve. Use a twisting motion to get the O-ring into the electrode sleeve. You should see a small amount of liquid come out through the white frit at the end. Store upright in the analysis cell or a cup of deionized water. When in use, check the condition of the plated silver electrode daily as this component is critical to the correct operation of the system. If there are light patches or the plating is flaking off, then the silver rod should be cleaned back to shiny metal with the fine abrasive provided in the electrode care kit. It must then be replated as described in the PDV manual. The working electrode is where all the key reactions of the analysis take place, and its cleanliness is therefore critical. Do not touch or otherwise contaminate the working electrode surface, or you may need to repeat the following process from the start. To polish a working electrode, use a dedicated polishing kit, part number 190-023. Note, once the kit has been used with a particular type of electrode, for example, mercury film, then it must only be used for that type of electrode to prevent the risk of cross-contamination. It is recommended that the label on the outside of the kit be marked with the type of electrode. Shake the bottle vigorously to suspend the media, and then apply two drops of the liquid to the felt pad inside the lid of the container. Polish the electrode by moving the electrode either in a figure eight against the felt pad, or by alternate clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations for about 30 seconds. Rinse the electrode well with deionized water to remove residual polishing powder. Remove the black cover from the top of the cell and place the electrodes in the appropriate color-coded holes. Attach the color-coded leads to each electrode connector, and if preferred, refit the cell cover to protect these connections and ensure all electrodes are pushed down to their proper depth. Place analysis cup filled with 20 milliliters of deionized water in the analysis cell. Start the app on the tablet before connecting the USB cable and OTG adapter. The main page of the app should open. Connect the USB cable with OTG adapter. A pop-up will appear after a few seconds asking permission for the app to use the USB port, which needs to be accepted. 
Test the connection to the PDV by clicking the Rinse Cell button. If the connection fails, remove and reconnect the OTG adapter and re-acknowledge the pop-up as above. If there is still no connection, check the USB connection and restart the app. From the main page, choose Edit Analysis Menus to open the Run Config page and import or load the desired analysis menu. Menu parameters are the same as used in VAS and given in the application notes. See Section 7.1 of the App Manual for more details on loading, saving, and adjusting new menus. The application note for each metal will describe the exact conditions for conditioning the working electrode. The conditioning menu is accessed from the Condition Electrode button. Conditioning parameters are saved with other analysis parameters, but must be separately loaded with the Import button or manually entered to match the relevant application note. To condition an electrode, fill a clean analysis cup with the contents of a bottle of the correct plating or conditioning solution and click the Start button in the conditioning page. During the conditioning process, mark off the next open box on the bottle's label as plating solution bottles contain sufficient solution to plate an electrode five times. At the end of the plating period, pour the plating solution back into the bottle. Rinse the electrodes by filling an analysis cup with 20 milliliters of ultra-pure water, then run the stirrer using the rinse cell button on the main page. Leave the electrodes sitting in the second cup of rinse water. The PDV is now ready to start analyzing solutions. To perform a standard comparison analysis, initiate the analysis procedure by selecting the Analyze Sample button from the main page. If the Enable Sample Volume Change option has been selected in the Options page, the Metals Config page will reappear to give the user the opportunity to load different application settings or change any volumes or analyte metal window details. Normally, this is not required. Once changes are made, or if they are not required, click Next to initiate the analysis cycle. The user will be asked to rinse the cell with deionized water. Place an analysis cup containing 20 milliliters of deionized water in the cell and click the Rinse Cell button. Repeat with a second cup of deionized water, then click the Next button to continue. Prepare a blank solution as described on the app screen. Place the electrodes into the cup and click Next to initiate the measurement of the blank solution. Alternatively, if a blank is not required, the Skip Blank button may be selected. This video will carry out a blank. Upon completion, the voltammogram for the blank solution will be displayed. Once a good blank is achieved, click Next to analyze the standard. In a fresh analysis cup, prepare a standard solution from the volumes given on the app screen. Place the cup in the analysis cell and click the Run Standard button to initiate the standard analysis. Once the analysis has been carried out, the voltammogram will be displayed. The user will have the option to simply display the blank or utilize the blank subtraction option by clicking the appropriate radio button in the bottom left corner. If the application note recommends repeating the standard for better results, this can be done using the Rerun Standard button. At this point, the user has the option to adjust the metal window, peak center, and baseline by dragging them to the desired voltage. This is not usually necessary, but if it is not done at this time, there is no option to do it later and any changes will require analyzing another standard. Once a satisfactory standard is seen, click Run Sample to continue the analysis cycle. Rinse the analysis cell with deionized water as per the on-screen instructions. Depending on the options chosen in the Options page, the user may have the option to perform another blank run after rinsing the analysis cell. This is not essential, but is usually recommended. Once the blank is finished, click Next to open the Run Sample page. The Sample ID and Details page will now open. This is an opportunity to enter a sample ID name, number, or description. If sample GPS and or picture options have been selected in the Options page, then options to use these functions will also appear here. In a clean analysis cup, prepare a sample solution as described on the app window and place it in the analysis cell. 
Click Analyze Sample to initiate the analysis of the sample. Click Next to initiate the sample analysis. Once the analysis has been carried out, the voltammogram will be displayed, along with the peak height and part per billion value of the sample. Now the user has the option to adjust the peak center and baseline by dragging them to the desired voltage as for the standard. This is not usually necessary. This completes the basic analysis cycle for a single sample. There are now three options. Analyze another sample using the same calibration standard with the Next Sample button. This will return the user to the start of this section. Up to five samples are typically recommended for a single standard, although the software will allow more. Recalibrate for the same analyte metal and concentration range using the New Standard button. It's typically recommended to recalibrate after five samples or if the required concentration range changes. Click the Main Menu button to return to the main page to analyze other analyte metals change option settings, or use any other functions. Other analysis options, such as sample spike testing, standard addition calibration, and other features are explained in the manual. The Microtrace PDV is a portable analytical instrument capable of detecting and analyzing over two dozen metals down to low parts per billion or sub parts per billion levels. The Microtrace PDV provides rapid results, allowing for the immediate identification and resolution of on-site problems.